guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. And we knew the metas were going to change as the Awakened Heroes continue to be utilized. Um, some of the new support heroes continue to be utilized. And we also know that Palmer is going to be coming up tomorrow, which we're going to have to see the impact of that. But today we're going to be looking at our um, Twisted Realm, starting with Kane. Now, up until this point, guys, the staple when it comes to the Kane fight has always been Taylene. The reason being that Kane will actually kill a target when it gets to a certain point. Um, but just like what we've seen before with getting um, Scarlet being early Scarlet, um, some of the heroes can do damage so fast that they can actually be the, the best in slot or the best tier when it comes to fighting out the battles. Um, and there is an incredible amount of RNG within this. Um, after this, I'm going to look and kind of show you what I've been working on with the hunting field. Um, or excuse me, with um, the, the Grand Hunt and show you the teams over there. But I just wanted to kind of show you, this is the new team. So the logic behind here and my thought why I wanted to show this is you can see guys within the Greyborn, I did borrow my own Greyborn hero, the Awakened version of Baden. Um, with the Awakened heroes, this is how I competitively do this is I borrow specific heroes. You can see even the original version of Taylene right there, or excuse me, the Awakened version of Taylene that I do not have built. The Awakened version of Baden, which I do not have built. And then these two I have built. So I just garrison um, the heroes that I don't have and kind of swap in between because you can only use one garrison hero in there. Now, I went through, you can see my ranking right now is 541. We get everything set, even looking at the whale formations, guys. Some of the biggest things is look at that. He's doing almost 4 trillion damage. That is right, guys. Trillion damage for the Awakened version of Baden. Um, and looking at the pet, looking at the Elder Tree, some of these players have it incredibly, incredibly maxed out. Now, the question that I had is going through, we know we have the same artifacts, but the SP effect, I actually turned it to Solus because the over or the over attack rating will be as healing. Um, so, so I'm thinking that this is going to be the next one. Or, or the good one to do. I kind of looked at the Baden one. It does the crowd control. So I just do the multiple battles, guys. So we set five in here. We let it run. We know the RNG aspect is in there. 547 is kind of where we're stuck. And the chances of this getting better, there we go, five, 507. So we just dropped 40 slots right there. Again, I, I don't know how many times, if you put a lot into this, um, how many times can can kind of the RNG work even getting there at 507 with the current comp, I'm happy with that. I know we do, still do have two days left. It's incredibly early, um, but staying in the top is super, super rewarding because of what you get out of here, especially during the Dreamland doubles. You can see these are doubled 100%, which makes a big difference. Now, with that being said, the exact same thing is ringing true to the Grand Hunt. Um, I went through here and I actually did this a lot. You can see my ranking right now is 983. So I went through, I did 20 battles just to really test the RNG of the same battles, guys. And if you look, so if we go back, let's say, what's this? Two, four, there's five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So, oh, last 20, or I should have read that. So we did 20 battles, guys, over what we did last night. We did quite a few battles. I know it took some diamonds. But looking at the, the lineup here, guys, 94k or 94 billion 135 27 170 right there 173 then it got kind of some bad rng in here bumped back up to 178 162 118 and that 152 168 157 as you can see guys with the same team 20 times we ranged from 94 billion um, all the way up to 178 billion. So we almost put up 100 billion more. So I wanted to run through the team that I actually got 178. Um, this is kind of the setup that we did in here. I think hero info, yep, it'll show the badge as well. Um, so you can see guys, this was a very, very heavy RNG team. If the RNG of this team really clicked, you can see did a ton of damage. Now, with that being said, guys, these pets need to be built up a lot more. Um, depending where you have your built, you kind of have to use what you have in here. When you start putting badges, when you start putting beacons uh, between these heroes, they do amplify the damage. Even having Peanut built out a little bit more for the damage mitigation in this team probably would have made 
a big difference. But again, the, the pets in there. Um, here we did, as you can see, the, the piercing ammo, um, hatchet, hatchet. And then of course the revitalizing, revitalizing herb is the one that we did within there. Now second team, this again was a little bit of RNG. Um, I tried a lot of different teams in here, even swapping out Baden, swapping out Damon. Um, went with a bunch of different combinations. Couldn't get it higher than probably 13. So if you know, guys, let me know in the comments how we can get this up a little bit higher. Um, again, I'm willing to put some more diamonds in there. Pet doing pretty well already at level nine. But this team with the Awakened version of Brutus was just kind of slacking. Then, of course, guys, Hatchet, Hatchet. We also do have the Recharge Crystal, Recharge Crystal, and Hatchet is what we are running within this team. Now, team three, look at the original version of Taylene, guys. 50, almost 51 billion damage in here. Now, the reason for this is Orthos, when um, Orthos does his ultimate ability, the original version of Taylene is the strongest, um, has the most combat rating, can still move with the buffs that we have on there for Halos, allowing us to break 50 billion damage in there, guys. Absolutely insane. Then, of course, we have the energy in there, the attack rating boost from Silas, a very, very solid team. And again, looking in here, she is running the ammo um, for the normal attacks. We do have the, the recharge crystal, the um, revitalizing herb, and then he actually runs a spurring cloak because of the shield for the normal attacks that he is going to boost within there. Now, team four, this is one, again, I, I was really, really struggling with in this. Um, we went, we put the awakened version of Solus in here, as you can see, doing a ton of of healing in here but overall my damage I, I feel like i'm missing something in team four that i could definitely score a little bit higher but again we have the hatchet we actually ran in here with this resonating conch for summon entities which of course are peggy's guards and then the two rejuvenating crystals in there which again i feel like we could do a lot better within this team um depending on who we run then the final team guys on tandra or excuse me anasta I'm going to correct it because I know the last video I, I said on Tandra a lot. Um, on Tandra is actually this hero. This is this is on Tandra, not Anasta. This is on Tandra. This is Anasta. There we go. We cleared it up. So on Tandra was in here with Grez. Um, Nevi's in here, and then of course Rosaline followed on Tandra, and then we had the twins in here to create pretty much a, a pretty solid super cycle in there again if i had my pets built up a little bit more even having um the tree built up a little bit more i feel like would have maximized the damage and in here guys again looking at team four honesta um really thought we would do more damage with this team with the build unfortunately we did not within there but overall the ultimate result 178 billion damage so if you know guys let me know um some of the better teams or, or some of the ones for those two specific teams, two and four, um, that you're running in here that look better. I went through a lot of the players, including Key, um, are running kind of a, a completely different spec. And you can see they're actually running Mage in here. I'm probably going to respec and try Mage. And this is the team that I was running. Look at that, guys. 51 billion. Mine did like 400 million. Um, it was not even remotely close to what we're seeing right here. But again, Elder Tree in here much higher, Pet much higher. I think this might have a big difference to do with it. And then, of course, in here with uh, Antandra doing a lot of damage. But again, this team for me kind of disappointing. And then, of course, they did the Mage as well, which I believe being a whale, a lot of these players actually spec'd out four trees and maxed out four trees. Sorry guys, that'll do it for today. Just wanted to give you a quick um, update on the Grand Hunt and also the changing that we're seeing within the Hellscape. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.